So we Caroline, do do do. Good times never seem so good. Oh, where the fuck you guys been? Mickey four twenty here as usual. More like where the fuck have I been? Guys, you think I've been living under a rock? I can't make a freaking video. Well. Red Sox won the World Series last night. Yeah! So that's pretty good. And just giving you an update. You better have been watching. Been growing out the beard. If you didn't grow your beard out, it doesn't matter. My beard is the one that won the World Series for them. So, so basically, they all grew their beards out, and I did. Mine was the only one that made David Ortiz hit them bombs, put him in the zone, eye on the ball. You could thank me for that. You can't ruin my day right now, I'll tell you what. It's just great. So, anyway, the, the beard gave them good luck. I think I'm going to keep it going for hunting season to, until I shoot a deer at least. Probably be opening day, I would imagine, if things keep going the way they're going. But... Uh, that's Saturday, coming right up this weekend here. Figured I'd sit here and have a little celebratory shot with you guys. Got a little midnight moon apple pie. I know up north here we don't drink the real moonshine. It's just whatever. I drink fucking cat piss if I thought it got me drunk like this stuff does, but anyway. Figured I'd check in, say hi. They won last night, I'd go out there, I didn't really get much... That's the thing that sucks about World Series parties. You can't really have a World Series party, like, you know, like a Super Bowl party, or like, you know, any of them, because you don't know, like, it could have went to Game 7 last night, as if it would have. John Lackey. You're probably watching this, as if. But... I was nervous. Old Waka, Mike Waka, whatever his name is, he's a hell of a pitcher. It was a great series. I mean, really, it was. It was fun to watch. Everybody says it's rigged and this and that, but pretty cool that they got to come back to Fenway and win it. And that was the first time since, what is it, 95 years or something? Since 1918 that a World Series game has been clinched in Fenway. So I can only imagine what's going on down in Boston. It's just, uh, Christ, that'd be awesome to be down there, though. They got the parade coming up this weekend, and uh, I think they said it was $1,100 was the cheapest ticket. I don't know, but I might have paid that much to go down. But, uh, wow. That must be a madhouse down there, of course. Us, you know, New England fans, we take it pretty serious. We've had a lot of heartache. I know I'm only 30 years old, but we've had a lot of heartache. It's been a good month. Got to see Hank Williams Jr. Uh, if you guys follow me on Instagram at the Wiki 420, you would have known that. If you don't know what Instagram is, get it on your phone and follow the Wiki 420. Been slacking on the videos, guys. Just like I said, been out straight and. Dylan, he's been out straight. Nick, everybody's just been out straight. First day he picked up a guitar for two months, and between working on the other boat and fishing and just everything else, trying to have fun. That's tough too. Fitting that into your schedule, you got to work hard, you got to play hard. It. Makes it hard to pump the videos out, but I'm pumping one out this afternoon here. So, by the way, if you get a chance to see Hank Williams Jr., go check him out. We went up to Bangor, give you a little insight. Bangor, Maine, there, the new Cross Center, the old Bangor Auditorium, which is an awesome, awesome setup in there now, a brand new building. Uh, went up to the Hollywood Casino there first, came out 150 bucks a head. Went to the concert, hung out there, got my mind completely blown. I'll tell you what, Hank can play. 
like a motherfucker still. His voice is awesome. Throwing fiddles 60 feet across the stage, playing piano with his butt cheeks, talking about hanging out with Ray Charles and I mean just Johnny Cash and just I mean just the upbringing that the I just total rock icon had my mind blown that was awesome drink a little moonshine in there too out of my new wakey 420 flask and yeah from there we went to Diamonds the old strip club about 200 people in there, that ended up being a pretty good time. <laughs> My girlfriend wanted to miss Wakey, she wanted a bottle of champagne for being the loudest chick or something on stage there. She went up and I almost ended up catching that upside the head. Big bottle of champagne about the size of the one Big Poppy had in his hand there after the game. Expect some F&A update videos soon. It's been moved into the shop here, the weather's getting shitty around here. One of the things that has also has inspired me to make this video, guys, was that on the Facebook there, I follow the ESPN Sports Center. There's all these haters talking about Big Poppy in being in steroids, and I just about wigged out. I just about single-handedly went to each and every one of their houses and found them and bitch slapped them because. Poppy's just a clutch hitter, and I don't care about steroids. The only person I care about being on steroids, and I hate him, is A-Rod, Alex Rodriguez, for the Yankees. That's the only person. Everyone else I'm cool with, Mark McGuire, Barry Bonds, whoever, you know, they ended up admitting it. A-Rod is suing baseball over the deal, and he did it. But anyway, you're an idiot if you think Big Poppy is on roids, and I will bitch slap you and find you, if that's what you think. 2024JZ. Well, buddies on Facebook, Jason. It was good talking to you throughout the whole thing, but I told you. I told you Red Sox would win in five. It ended up being six. But. Anyway, I'm not going to rub it in too hard because I know you're a Cardinals fan and it was a hell of a series. I got to give it to them. I was about ready to have a heart attack every inning of every game, so put a few more gray hairs on my head, not just because I just turned 30 a month ago, but anyway, growing the beard out till I get a deer, beard for the deer, expect a video on that soon because I'm bound to shoot one, probably in my sleep, one is going to come into the living room here and I'm just going to slit its throat, but stay tuned guys. Shot for the Red Sox. Love ya. Stay tuned. Check me out. I'll be back. I'm here. Keep watching. Red Sox. Peace, guys.